So now we're all the way back on the baseline and we've exaggerated the difference in space even more so between us and the net and the net and our target. So now it's really, really critical that Ira finds the right shape, the right amount of dip in his shot in order to keep the ball in play because there's just not a lot of space. Uh, Ira, do, do us a favor and um, make the peak of your shot right over the net again. And so he's gonna hit his shot in line with that short angle. A little bit more angled, so it's like right over the bucket. And the peak of your shot right over the net. There we go. So if he does that and the ball peaks over the net, now it's gonna way overshoot. And this is the biggest mistake that those of you at home are making. You're getting the angle correctly, but we're not finding the range correctly. And that's mainly due to the shape. So now Ira is gonna change the shape of his shot so that his ball is peaking well short of the net. I mean, probably like six, eight, maybe even 10 feet on his own side, already dropping down to find that angle and keep it in play. And again, he's gonna kind of manipulate his racket face to close it a little bit more or a little bit less. He's gonna come up back uh, across the back of the ball a little bit more or less sharply to create that curve. If you want some step-by-step -step instructions on how to manipulate that, go to the top spin section of Academy where we talk about this in detail. All right, make a good one, Ira. Nice, nice, good shot. Once you've accomplished a good feel for that short, that short angle, I would encourage you also at the kind of intermediate spot to experiment with going straight and then deep cross court and then short angle so you can get a feel progressively for, okay, just contact straight ahead and then cross court and then short angle so you can really feel the difference between those different contact points. That's the crucial thing when it comes to creating the angle and then feeling the right shape and having the right dip in the shot is the key to keeping the ball in play.